You guys, I am so excited, but also I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know why. I think it's because because I really want you guys to like this series. So, welcome to This Is Esmas! Woohoo! <laughs> I don't know if it's the corniest name you've ever heard, but when I heard it, I just, I fell in love. I was like, this is, this is what it's going to be called. This Christmas special series, it's going to be called This Is Esmas. And my friend Patricia actually is the one who came up with this, which is no surprise given that she's the queen of the corniest, weirdest, jokes and stuff so I'm, I'm not complaining that we came up with we came up with this is Esmas but anyway so basically what's going to happen is that you're going to see a lot of me during this Christmas season I'm going to have a video up every weekday starting from the 1st of December all the way to the 25th which if you calculate how many weekdays there are between the 1st and the 25th there are 16 weekdays which means is good. We're, we're gonna be friends. You're gonna have to be okay with seeing me a lot on your feed. So I'm starting off This Is Esmas with a series that I've had on my blog for a long, long time and it's Taking Stock. And it's basically something that I would do once a month where I would share the things that I was thinking about or eating or drinking you'll get the gist as you watch the rest of the video but then i thought instead of writing it out on my blog why not do it in a video format and if you guys like this then maybe i could swap it up from video to blog every once in a while and it could be a thing on my youtube channel as well but it's one of my favorite posts on my blog and i think a lot of you guys who follow me on my blog love it as well so we're here. So I got this series idea from a blogger called Sydney Liam of the Daybook blog and she's a woman that I love so much. I love her so much and she pretty much, I think she got it off someone else a few years ago. She got it off someone else and she started doing it and so it's, it's not mine. I didn't create it. So if you want to start it as well, why not? We might as well all just be taking stock every month. A lot of gifting lists. Now on my phone in my notes folder I have this one note where I usually list people's names and the type of gifts that I think that they would appreciate and I usually do that throughout the year so if they ever said oh I love this or I would like this I try and make note of that almost immediately because I find that whenever Christmas comes around if I haven't already done that then I'll completely forget to give them or if it's their birthday or something because I hate when it's time to get someone a gift and you're just like I'll just get them a pillowcase because you just have run out of ideas. So I've been making those lists and I'm really excited about gifting these people that I love so dearly during the holidays. Way too much bread these days. I think it's because whenever I'm focused a lot on work and I'm just in the zone, I make really poor eating choices and I end up cooking or buying the quickest easiest meal and actually this is how I ended up having all those crisps and chocolates for lunch because it was just the easiest thing to pick up so I'm going to try and put in more effort to make sure that even though I'm working a lot these days and I'm just work is a lot I also balance it out because I know I know that my body is this temple that I need to cherish and it will not run at a hundred if I don't give it the attention that it deserves cold green tea. I feel like in a lot of my <laughs> taking stocks, I have just talked about green tea, but you know what? I'm just, I stick to green tea or water these days. I don't even have that much coffee that often. Um, I don't drink soda anymore. I rarely have juice. I don't know. I don't know if there's anything interesting that I could share with you, but just a cold cup of green tea. And it's cold because I leave it there for, <laughs> for hours. And then I make another one and I leave it there for hours and then I end up drinking cold green tea, but whatever. Well, I just finished Girl Online, which is a book by Zoe Sugg, who is a fellow YouTuber. And I actually bought this, I want to say, well over a year ago. And I didn't even, if I'm being honest, I didn't really have the intention of reading it. I was just buying it because Zoe is a YouTuber and I like the idea of supporting a YouTuber and just knowing that they can flourish and and just make it a career something that I was hoping to make a, a career as well so I bought it 
just because I wanted to support her. Um, and then I read it and it reminded me a lot of my high school days. It's a very teen focused book. It's definitely not for everyone. And it was an easy read. Like I finished it in three days, which is, I mean, I like, it took me months to finish a book this year, but I also had a child, so don't judge me. But this I finished in a few days. It was an easy read. Plus I liked that it was different from the last book I read, which was, um, what is it? Daring Greatly, which is quite heavy and it's like a self-help book. So this was a welcome change. So I finished that and I'm currently reading Robin Sharma's Life Lessons from the Monk Who Sold His Ferrari. And every um, day I try and take time out to read at least one chapter. They're very short, two pages, maybe three each. And they each have like a life lesson. Look, it's, I'm using a receipt as my bookmark. Not cute. Um, but each day there's a new life lesson, so it's it's really easy to make time for this and to read it. But because I only read one chapter a day, I feel like I'll be on this for a while. So I'm concurrently reading this old one. It's been well loved. And it's The Cry of Halidon. Halidon? I'm not sure. But it's by Robert Ludlum or Ludlum. Yeah, so those are the books that are on my reading list right now. Ooh, a girl's trip to Morocco. That's, that's really what I would love for 2018. It's high up on my wish list. I want to so desperately travel to Morocco and just sip on coffee or tea or whatever it is that they really drink in Morocco. I just want to go and I want to buy a rug. I, I just want to live the Moroccan life for like a few days. 2018, make it happen. With makeup a lot more these days. I, I'm actually, I know I say playing, but not, I'm not really that adventurous either. But I just, I like it more and more these days. And I think it's because for me, it just means it's me time. And I don't get a lot of that. So these days I'm either with my daughter on mom duties or I'm working. And so I, I don't have just me chill time a lot. Um, so for me, makeup is one of those times where I just get to be by myself in the zone. I'll usually do it when Nyla is asleep or with someone else. So I just, I love it and I get into it and I try and do all these fun new tricks. Whether or not it looks cute on me, it's a whole different story, but I am playing with makeup more. Zero time when it comes to reading books. I now make it a point to dedicate at least 10 to 15 minutes every single day to reading a book and I try and make that um, at least a minimum of 10 pages because sometimes I find myself reading a page for five minutes and it's just like my mind is elsewhere <laughs> but I'm making no excuses there's no reason why I can't finish a book in a month now really and truly uh, my daughter is getting older and I just I should allow myself some time to do something that I genuinely love plus Reading is not only like something that I love, but I've ended up really growing as a person because of some of the books that I read. Like I said, Daring Greatly, wow, it's one of the most amazing books I've read in a while. This space that you see here that I'm filming in has been a labor of love and I have loved trying to figure it out and move things. It's like a little jigsaw puzzle and every day something is being shifted and added and things are not, things are nowhere near close to where they should be <laughs> like the curtains are like ha they're hanging over the rods because i just haven't we haven't fixed them so yeah but it's coming together slowly and i would love to show you guys when it's actually done which will probably be a long time from now but it's my little project and i i've i really enjoyed creating this space into the filming room that you're seeing right now that I knew what I was getting my secret Santa person. I have, I have no clue what I'm getting. So if you don't know, my family, every year, my family gets into this secret Santa, slightly competitive space. And, and so we try and outdo or outgive or outpresent each other and make it really thoughtful and cool. And I am just stuck right now. I'm panicking a little because I don't want to let my person down but I have just I have no idea what to get them that would really be cool and that would they would love I don't want to just get like a I don't know like a, just a random gift 
for the sake of giving. I want it to be something that they love and I, I have no clue where to start. Life and the fact that it seems to be responding beautifully to what I've been giving out when it comes to work. I feel like I have put my all into this space for the past few weeks and slowly it's starting to, I'm starting to reap the fruits of my labor. And it's making me feel really excited, especially for 2018, because I have really, really big plans for 2018. In fact, when it comes to 2018, I may or may not have a vision for this space where you may be getting two videos a week. Imagine that, two videos, oh my gosh. In one video a week already, I'm just like, wow, it's a lot, but two? But that's my goal, that's what I'm working towards. Let's see that it's Christmas time. It's my favorite time of the year. I've always loved Christmas for the longest time. I just, I like the spirit of giving, of receiving gifts also. <laughs> I also like the fact that there is loads of family and now, I, oh, I don't know if this is gonna be like shade, but I just feel like when I was younger, it was just like being forced to go for family things and it was just like, I don't know, and you're in the car for hours as you go up country. It was just a very different feel, but now, I don't know, we've, we've gotten to a space where we really enjoy each other's company and not just as my nuclear family, but the extended as well, that it for me, it's a fun time. It's a really fun time. Plus there are all these um, routines and rituals that I've started to bring up for my family, my growing family, so I'm excited. That you guys will like this version of Taking Stock because I am enjoying filming it, so fingers crossed you like it. At these, I still haven't taken them out yet, but I will today because shoes are meant to be worn outside even if they're white and super pretty. This gorgeous citrus scent and it's by L'Occitane, or L'Occitane. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, it's French. And it's Vervain, v Vervain. It's one of my favorite scents. I just, there's something about that lemon fresh scent that just makes me want to wake up and just start the day. And this is something I've actually had for two years. It was gifted to me and I've used it sparingly because it's one of my favorite scents. It's almost done, so I better restock or think about getting another one soon big hoop earrings, which make me feel like Jenny from the block. Mm -hmm. More and more Kenyan YouTubers. I am having a blast seeing a lot more Kenyan YouTubers coming online and serving us really amazing content on a weekly basis. And some of the people on my subscription list include Joy Kendi, Patricia Kiharo, Mandy Saro, Nancy Mwai, Joanna Kinuthia, Kangai Muti of Bayasa Africa, who's the OG YouTuber, and Sheila Dinda, who I discovered after trying to figure out what to give to my sister for her birthday when it comes to hair products, because my sister has natural hair. So I was like, what do people buy anyway? So I Google and I'm just like, whoa, this is crazy. Uh, so yeah, if you don't already, please subscribe to those ladies' channels because they've got amazing content. That my diet has become really crappy. Like I said, I'm just, I'm eating way too much bread, I'm having takeout more than I should, and I just, I need to get my diet in order, and that's because I just, I'm doing, I, I get into this zone, like I said, where if I'm working, I don't dedicate too much time to worrying about food. So sometimes I may even go for, I, I don't even wanna say how long I can go for without eating, but if I'm in the zone, I just, I forget, I forget to eat, and then when I do remember, I just reach for the easiest thing, but I'm, 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 I'm going to try and do a lot better in December for my body's sake, for my sake. That I need to invest back in my business if I want to see it grow. And I think that's what every, everyone who's in business, they've got to, it, there comes a time where you've got to make that decision. Do you spend it on fun, cool stuff that you would like to have or do you put it back into the business and hope that it just continues to grow because at the end of the day that's what really distinguishes you from the pack and from everyone else how much are you putting back into this thing that you love and allows you to create and 
that's what I'm going to try and focus a lot more of in 2018, investing back in the business. Excited for my first Christmas with Nyla! I can't believe it. Like the first of so many. First of all, I have a feeling that she may end up either becoming the kind of kid who's super obsessed with Christmas because of her mother or completely hates it because her mother goes overboard and is just like, Christmas, 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 let's just do everything Christmas. But what can I say? I'm excited. I've got a photo shoot planned for her, a themed photo shoot, of course, um, which by the way, if you guys are looking for a photographer or some cool Christmas photos, I listen to me, listen, to, listen to me. You want to work with a professional on your Christmas photos and you want to make it an annual thing and you want to reach out to Tatiana Karanja because I mean, she's about the best there is in the business. I'm just saying. Also, she has a really special package for Christmas. It's 10,000 shillings for an hour's shoot. I'm telling you, if there's something that you should invest in without thinking about twice, it's photos. If I look through the past few months with my daughter, the one thing that I cherish the most, besides of course her, <laughs> are the photos that I have of her. And some of them are more professional than others, but my favorite ones were the ones that we took when she was a few weeks old. I think she was three weeks old. And Tatiana again took them. And it's me and her and we're cuddling and she's so cute. And so I'm, I'm, I'm never going to not invest in photos and especially around special times, whether it's birthdays or Christmas. So I implore you, if you can get your family together and you just take an hour's time out of your day and have some photos taken, I'm telling you, it's going to be something that you will cherish as a family forever. So reach out to your girl, Tatiana. I will leave her links in the description box. You're welcome. Mm, I'm gonna say scandal. I don't know if you can bookmark a show, but I just feel like we know we're just gonna pretend you can. But I don't really watch a lot of TV shows or movies as much anymore. But Scandal is the one that I have kept, I, I've, I've kept on watching, which is really weird because at some point I was just like, oh my, oh, my, oh, my, are we again, again, Olivia? Are we back? Are we back here again? I just, I couldn't get it, and I got so over it, and now I'm, I'm, I'm back into it again, and I just, I don't understand why I'm so into it. But I, I feel like this season, this season is a little different. It's, a, it's a little bit more dicey and juicy. So if you're not watching Scandal, I suggest you watch it. Also, if you've got some really cool shows, I've, I just feel like I've been so out of the game. So if you have some really cool TV shows that you're into, please let me know. Up to the idea of embracing winged liner again. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I'm doing it today. And I haven't really done anything with like winged liner for a, for a very long time. I just feel like I just, I went into this phase where it was just eyeshadow, but, um, we're back. I, I don't even know if you can see it because again, my, my makeup is always very subtle, but it's there and I love it. At Patricia Bright's videos, they are, they are life, you guys. If you don't follow Patricia Bright, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing with your YouTube subscription box because you need to upgrade that and just get her on there. She's so funny, especially her videos where she's trying on clothes. I just, I feel like it's me. I feel like it's, it's me and my girlfriends and we're just like, ah, I don't, just really being ourselves. And the weird, you know the cool thing about YouTube these days? I feel like it's really embracing the realness and the quirkiness and the strangeness or the beauty and the oddness that is in and within all of us. Um, and I think for a while maybe it was just like, oh, only portray one side of you and don't really show this other side. But I think people like Lady Gaga, and I know this is such a weird example, but I just feel like people like her have helped showcase that it's okay to not be ordinary and to not just blend in. It's okay to stand out. And whether you stand out because you've got a weird sense of humor, uh, quirky hairstyle, whatever it is, just let your personality shine through and people are really embracing that and taking it to the next level, especially on YouTube and it's just making it such a fun space. That's what I feel. Um, yeah, so Patricia Bright, that, that's what I was trying to say, Patricia Bright. Really excited for This Is Esmas. I really hope that you guys love this series and that you will come back here 
on Monday. I hope I will see you on Monday, okay? 8 a.m. as usual. And you enjoy the content that I share with you and I have been working hard in November to try and put together so that I can make it, make my deadlines every day because it, it's, it's, it's a lot of work. If you've ever put up one YouTube video, you know that it's, it's not easy to try and put up 16 within a three week period. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Merry Christmas. Is it too early to be saying Merry Christmas? I don't know. Happy holidays. I hope to see you on Monday. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and I will see you shortly. Bye.